Hey guys, welcome to our Let's Up Pro Teacher Zoo. Today I have with me Ian. Hello. And today we're going over the What If Grim Hunt. This original story pissed me off so much. Tell me about the original story. So there's wackiness with Craven and his family, and Craven and his family decide they really need to resurrect Craven. So they capture a bunch of spider women. <laughs> And kill at least one of them who I liked a lot, and so I will never forgive them. Which one was that one? Patty Franklin. Don't you mean Norm, uh, Jonah's adopted daughter? Would they exactly. never seem to ever rent reference again? Yes. Which, except for in the clone conspiracy, which was like a kick of the nuts because she was just a clone, and then she melted mm. because that's what clones do. Mm -hmm. Not. Exactly. Exactly. But um, it's another reason for me to hate Dan Slott. <laughs> but um, not the reason most people care. But like, I am still bad about this. Agreed, agreed. Um, but but yeah. So let's see what could have happened here if things played out differently. We get a nice, we get a summary of what had happened up to that point. Basically, what you described. Basically, here the whole thing is. What if he had, um, um, oh, come on. Is it supposed to be black? No, it's not. It froze. Oh, no, reload. Hate when it does that. Oh, in no. this game, we basically see what if, um, he had killed Craven? Justice. Yeah, but basically, it turns him. It changes him after all that happened. He's now become more vicious. A child scarred by things she should not have seen. I transport all this is done from um, um, Spider Woman's point of view. Which one, Aranya? No, um, not Jessica. Um, Julie, Julia. Julie Carpenter? Yeah. Basically, you're gonna find it so stupid. Basically, after all that happened, he Spider-Man's now become the hunter. By killing oh, wow. Craven, he now opens the floodgate and he goes and he starts hunting everyone down. The powerful realize they are now prey. Those that don't or can't are left to the mercy of a spider, a man who and who may have no mercy left. Now we're seeing you know, he goes back to MJ for a moment, but he's broken. My God, Peter, what happened? Why are you wearing your black? Damn it, Peter. And what's wrong with... He's just washing it all off. I can't... I can't be him anymore, uh, Mary Jane. You, you know you can tell me anything, Pete, but I need to know. Oh, so do I. The promise you made, if I gave out the mask, that you'd take me back? back? Of course, but... No. No more butts. No more Spider-Man. Just us. The bars of man can no longer hold the denizens of its zoo. Or it's prisons. So wait, As am I we, supposed to feel sad about this? We'll, we'll get there. Hold on. Basically, Electro, he actually breaks into the prison. Of course, tell me, tell me this isn't true. This can't be why you can't be Spider-Man anymore. I thought you gave it up for me. I did do it for you. You killed someone. I did that for you, too. For you and the other people I love. The ones he took away from me. And most of all, for those who still could be. How dare you put this on me, or at me, or anyone else in your life? Do you have any idea what you've done? I do. My enemies aren't hunting my friends any longer. Uh, Peter, I made a mistake. Thank God. I knew it couldn't have been something you intended to. No. My mistake was think I could go back to being Peter Parker again. Uh, the city needs me, but you don't need Peter Parker. You've made that clear. That's not. No one does. So he's lost himself. Where, I hate arguments where it's clearly something they could resolve if they just let them have a full sentence. That's lazy. I know. But yeah, he goes out there, hunts these animals. Uh, Julie, uh, Anya is there like, everything will be fine, Anya. So it was a nightmare. Spider-Man did it. Yes and no. What happened last night was re real. The web of life is broken. Spider-Man is no more, but hope isn't lost. <laughs> Goofy! 
I like old Madam Web better. I know. But where there was once a spider, now there's a hunter. But where once was a man, there can be a wa- No, I'm done. Aranya's done. I won't be your spider girl. I don't blame you for being scared. This isn't about that. I'm not afraid of that 12 monkeys crap. That's and that's going on out there. This is New York. We've been through worse. What you're asking me to do, what you're asking me to become, what if I make the same choice as he did? Can you look in the future and tell me I won't? No, there is no single future, just as there is no one spider. If you are not ready, I'll have to go to the others. When I called you, Tiger, I never thought you'd take it this far. MJ, how did I find you? This is where you surprised me. Ever, and you surprised me. Ever since what happened with Craven, something's been wrong with my spider sense. It's like I lost my connection with the people you love. I was going to say the web of life. Maybe Madam Web was and always will be crazy. Forget whatever Lion King mumbo jumbo she's filled your head with. Come back to us, people. I mean, Peter, mumbo jumbo. Who uses that phrase anymore? See, I knew we haven't lost you yet. No, you were right before. You were better off without me. Gwen was. She, and she'd hit you even harder than I did for saying that. Come home, Peter. It's not too late. If anyone could be late for an intervention, it's Pete. Hey, uh, oh, hush, er, Harry Osborne. My nephew has been, and has been your friend in spite of your struggle. Uh, uh, and I asked how you got it here, but I can't. Basically, he goes into Norman, and he kills Norman! And basically, he's like, so you heard. Peter, what did your bug friend do? How about, how could he save your life again? The world is better off without your father, and you, and so are you. Basically, he leads into, you know, they argue, he storms off, and he says, the world doesn't need Spider-Man. It needs a hunter to protect the herd. And look what he's become! <laughs> and get this. Ju and Julie is so desperate, she brings Spider-Woman and Venom! And anti-venom. <laughs> Leads to a fight. Ju um, Julie gets stabbed. And uh, she has to then um, give her ability to, uh, um, to Anya. As Peter's taking all of them out. So yeah, Anya comes in. They fight. And um, Peter can't do bring, uh, bring him to himself to do it. And yes, please end it. If not for me, then for you. Can you carry what I couldn't? And what? And sure enough, she takes his eyes instead. So basically, yeah, that's the end of it. What'd you think? So is he with MJ in the end? Nope, nope. She gives up, gives up on him. After what he, after all he had done, he pushed her away, and she's accepted that. Hmm. Hmm. My, my belief in the no kill rule and my desire to see someone articulate a pro kill rule in a non stupid way remain unfulfilled. Uh, stupid, then. Not smart. Especially with the stupid conversation with MJ where it's just like... He's cutting her off. Yeah, that that's lazy writing. I hate it when people write like that. Mm-hmm. <coughs> but overall, what do you think of the artwork? I mean, it's trying to be Michael Lark. And it's not bad at that, but it's not Michael Lark either. Right. Now, here's the real question. Is this better than Madam Web will be? Eh, good question. <laughs> Which does not seem like they're doing everything to do to separate it, just like they did with Morbius. What do you mean, separate? Because now they're claiming it's happening in another Earth. Of course it's happening in another Earth. No, I mean separate from all the other Sony Spider-Man movies. Why would they do that? That's silly. That's what they're saying now. I think because they're just panicking I have no idea I still don't understand why they thought that they made Morbius fail twice like, anyway, what anyway. are they smoking 
But yeah, anyway, but overall, so what would you rank this one on a 1 to 10? Uh, this one's more like a 5, I'd say. All right. Well, that's all we got to say on this one. See you guys on the next one. Take care.